All right, hello, good morning, good evening, and good night. I hope you guys are doing absolutely fantastic because in today's video, what we're gonna be talking about here today, we're talking about Clip. We're diving into everything Clip. We're going to get into their dividend, what they're going to be paying for the next month, the month of December. This is the final month in the 2023 calendar, and we'll get into that dividend today. I'm gonna to talk about a new problem that some YouTubers, one guy, his name is Aiken Todd, or Unconventional Wealth Ideas, as he's known, he mentioned a new prom, which I actually watched this video. It was a great video. I highly recommend you check it out. A new prom that's coming to China's internet sector, which will affect Clip. I actually don't really view this as a prom. I think it's a really good idea. So I'm going to get into all that in this video. And I'm going to tell you guys what I'm going to be doing, not only with my Clip position. My position might not change, but what I'll be doing is I might be looking to add some shares as their dividend is released. And I'm going to be talking about that all in this video. So if you guys are investors in Clip, you guys like Clips Dividend, please do remember to subscribe. We're up to 3,718 subscribers. Passed through that 3,700 marker. So thank you to everyone who has subscribed. Our videos are doing great. By the way, two days, almost three days ago, I posted our last video. I am updating our video schedule. So I'm going to be posting. I'll always post about two o'clock, three o'clock in the day, but it's going to be a little bit sporadic just because I want to provide videos for you guys when they are due. And I feel like I have enough evidence and enough conviction to give you guys a great video. So with all that being said, we are getting into a video today on Clip. Now Clip for the past little while, it's been trading at $16.33. It's been trending down over the past month. They had a, they were up to about almost $17 or so and then dropped all the way down to $16.24. That was due to the fact that KWeb, their underlying asset, actually paid a dividend surprisingly in the past five days. So you can see here, they paid a dividend, which caused the share price to go down to about $25.81 obviously leading to the price decline in crip uh, crip uh, clip not crip it's not a gang anyways bro so clip has obviously trended down and with their new dividend expected to come to about 3.5 to 4 percent of their total you could see here we're expecting a dividend it's probably going to be under this 69 cent mark so you can see here about four percent here was 69 cents so if we're talking about 3.5 to 4 percent here for December, we're probably looking at a dividend that's about 62 to 63 cents. And what this T5 here, if you're wondering here, is about, it says T10 or T5 referred to the distribution estimate ranges provided by 10 to 5 business days before the payable date. Before the payable date being, let's say, the X dividend date or this payable date right here. Now, Clip's X dividend date is actually on the 27th. So you need to buy some shares of Clip before the 27th. And how Clip is doing the five days prior to the 27th is what that dividend is going to be. If it's going to be on the higher side of 4% or if it's going to be on the lower side, closer to 3.5%. Now, I do think this dividend is going to be roughly about 62 cents, 63 cents. Just kind of judging off this, I think it's going to be close to this 3.5% here. So we could expect a smaller dividend in clip, but this would present a pretty good buying opportunity because KWeb for the past even month or so has been trending downwards and it, it's gotten to a pretty much recent low. You can see here in the past six months, it hits about $25 and then it tends to rebound up to markers like $28. So what I might do with my position, I hold 150 shares of clip currently, I might look to add some new shares of clip on that X dividend date, but I will update you guys and I'll make a video about what their dividend is going to be. Now, I want to tell you guys about some news surrounding Clip and surrounding the China internet sector. Now, Clip, you guys obviously know, it writes cover calls on the China internet sector known as KWeb, but in this video by Unconventional Wealth Ideas, as I mentioned before, he mentioned a little problem with the China internet sector. Now, China's new internet regulations want tech companies, schools authorized to protect minors online. Basically, I I brought up a kind of article that was mentioned in Unconventional Wealth Ideas video. It says, new regulations aim to create online environment that is good for physical and mental health for over not 191 million internet users who are under aged 18 or under. Now, I don't really have access to this article, but I found a new one which explains the exact same thing. So basically, in 2019, China, what they did was they took measures to reduce internet addiction in people that were under the age of 18. And so these 
implications, these restrictions were introduced in 2019 and they were tightened actually in 2021 and are going to be tightened again after 2023, which is going to be January 1st, 2024. Now I want to read you this right here. So in October, 2023, the premier Ling Jang, I, I totally butchered that, signed off on a new set of measurements designed to create a safer online environment for China's youth. The regulations China's most comprehensive child's internet safety laws yet will task educators and technology companies with tackling data privacy, cyberbullying, and of course, the dreaded internet addiction. I'm not even going to try and butcher this word, but you can see here these few things, data privacy, cyberbullying, and internet addiction. What they're going to try to do is it, I, I read through this entire article. Basically, they're saying they're going to have protection features in apps, websites, and programs that will help to educate youngsters and restrict their usage. I'm not sure what they're going to do with restrict their usage, usage maybe put a time limit, but I definitely think it's going to be more of just maybe pop-up ads or maybe some certain time. If someone's on for 30 minutes, there might be a pop-up saying the risks of potential in internet or addiction or something like that imposed by the Chinese government. I think this is actually a great idea. I do think people today, look, we are all addicted to social media. We're addicted to watching social media and we're obviously addicted to many different platforms. I think it's a great idea that China is doing this. Now, people are still going to have their own control as to how much internet they consume. <clears throat> obviously, China's concerned with their youth becoming too addicted. One of their kind of spokes about this was that obviously it's creating poor mental health in young people but one thing is excessive gaming has has led to a delay in china's progress to become kind of like a new world power in a sense what they want to do is they want to reduce the amount of hours that young people are using technology and using games because they're finding that it's making young people lazier and they don't want to go out and actually do work. Now, it says here, so people under the age of 18 were actually spending more than four hours per day, six days per week playing video games as a result of um, China's gaming curfew. Now, China has put on these restrictions. So these restrictions were already in place. This is not necessarily something that's new. They're just looking to tighten them. And I'm assuming they are going to just push heavier restrictions being like they're going to push more ads and they're going to push more education onto younger kids about this internet addiction, which I think is a great idea. <clears throat> now, all this could potentially impact K-Web as you might see a little bit of a slowdown in current internet usage. But look, the internet sector is not going anywhere. I do think Clip and I think KWeb are going to be completely fine. I don't really view this as a huge risk. I view this as a great thing for not only the world, but obviously China society because you're going to have a lot less kids who are going to be addic less addicted to the internet. There's no reason for these two to three year olds to be looking at an iPad anyways, in my opinion. Now, I think this is a great idea. I don't think it's going to cause a great slowdown in K-Web. Obviously, people do a bunch of transactions over the internet. Everything's done on the internet. So much information is on the internet nowadays, and there's so much resources. I don't see the internet or technology going anywhere. I think China's internet ETF, K-Web, is going to be completely fine. I think K-Web is going, or sorry, Clip is going to be completely fine. I don't think it's going anywhere. And so, I don't really view this as a bad thing. I view it as a really positive thing. I think this is great for our potential generations to come and i think that it's not going to have a negative impact on k-web i think k-web is still going to continue to thrive as technology advances and the internet goes forward so that is kind of my opinion on that article i see nothing bad i see only good coming from this <clears throat> so rest assured i'm holding on to my clip shares i'm not going to be selling i'm going to be holding and potentially adding more once this x dividend date is beyond us so i hope you guys did enjoy this video got a little perspective on what clips dividend might be some new risks or what i see is really a benefit to the chinese society and how it might affect kweb i hope you guys did enjoy this video i do want to say if you guys did enjoy please do remember to subscribe we're up to 3718 subscribers so please do stick around if these videos interest you i hope you guys have a great day and i will see you guys in the next one